all right so today i'm going to take you through making a simple power supply for your json modems for your arduino projects or any microcontroller projects this has been a challenge for a couple of friends and myself when i started embedded systems and using these modems so by the manual we expected to use between 3.4 to 4.4 volts on these modems but then we don't easily have a power supply to make them when you're getting power supply for 5 volts if you are using a 12 volts to power them independently fine you can use that but then 5 volts it's going to cost you more to just replicate the same power supply for a 4.4 a 4.1 volt all right so i'm going to show you how i use diodes to make this and here we're going to use two shocky diodes because um, they allow as much current through them so here i've got six amp shocky diodes but in reality you need a three amp shocky diodes because the maximum current run by these modems are two amps Alright, so I connect my two shocky diodes and for some reason I need this um, rectified diode which helps um, drop the voltage a little bit more. Alright, so we have that there. So now we have three diodes here and from there I'm going to connect a sacrificial load to it and this is going to be our 100k. Then the next I'm going to look out for is get a 4.3 Zener diode. Uh, 4.3 is lower than 4.4 needed by the manufacturer specification. So that should help as well. Alright, so with these components put in place, um, everything set to go. Probably might need a, bi a bypass capacitor just to stabilize it. And so let's simulate our load using a variable resistor. A part and I'm going to set that to about 100 ohms so I can have it fine tuned you can bring it down further if you want something much more finer so I'm going to edit that to 100 ohms and that should be it alright so now that we have our power supply here let's get our probes for voltage and probe for current okay the next and the last thing we need is a power supply to power it and we assume you're going to use a 5 volts to power this because your microcontroller will powered by 5 volts alright so 5 volts here and then we want to simulate a 3 amp uh, power supply at 5 volts because we'll be powering from an LM2596 alright so to get this here we know E is equal to V plus IR and then we can just deduce our R from that and general resistance from there. So all I want is a minimum drop of 0 0.1 volts um, for 3 amps. So it's going to be 5 minus 4.9 divided by 3 amps, which gives me 0 0.03 as internal resistance. So with all this set, and we can look at the characteristics of the battery supply as well, just to make sure we have what we need so I still need my current measurement here and I'm going to take a voltage terminal to measurements here alright so with all this in place we can simulate that and we can see we have 4.9 volts here current draw is 0 0.8 here it corresponds to that here so now let's increase our current and let's see the maximum current we can get out here alright so at 2 amps we can see our voltage supply here is 4.0 here at 2 amps you can see our voltage our voltage at the source here is 4.9 here which is good to power the microcontroller and this side is also good to power up our GSM modem so this is how I go by making my power supplies for my GSM modem um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if there's any comments please leave it in the, in the comment section below thanks